Welcome back to my channel everybody. Chris Gault here, Healthy Living with Chris Gault. And today I'm going to talk about something I think is very important, especially when we live in a time when pandemics are, are real, but that is how can you boost your immune system so that you can help yourself not get diseases? So we're going to get right to it. And before we get into the material, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that way you get notified every time I drop a video. And I'm going to be dropping now, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but three videos a week. So I'll be dropping a, on Tuesdays, I'll be dropping a tip with the health coach that's really going to be me collaborating with the health coach. I'll be dropping that out every Tuesday. And then I will have my normal healthy living video like this one dropping on Thursdays. And then on Sundays I have my vlog and currently, as you know, the vlog is about my new plant-based vegan uh, journey. So those are going to be the three. Uh, so if you want us to hit subscribe so that way you'll be notified, hit the bell too. So that way you will be notified for every one of them and let's get to it. All right. So food plays a really big part in boosting your immune system. And one of the foods that's very important is beta carotenes and if you don't know beta carotenes what the body does with beta carotenes is it turns it into vitamin a also known as retinol so you know about that so um, it's very important for the immune system to get vitamin a in your body and it's very good not only for your immune system but also to help out um, you know healthy skin uh, mucous membranes uh, and then good eye and vision as well, which is why, you know, the old, in the past, you know, you eat a carrot and you, 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 you know, you help your eyes out. Uh, it all comes, it's all very true. It's all the vitamin A. Um, a lot of the different types of uh, vegetables and fruits that you can eat while you're uh, trying to, to, to get vitamin A um, is going to be ones that have a lot of orange or something close to it. So like carrots, sweet potatoes, and then some greens too, like dark leafy greens like kale and spinach, um, romaine lettuce, squash, uh, cantaloupe, red and yellow, green and uh, uh, orange peppers are all going to be very high in beta carotene. And that beta carotene is going to do a great job in helping you stay healthy and get your immune system boosted. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Another great element to get into your body is zinc. So now you're asking, okay, how do I get zinc into my body? But zinc will really, really boost your immune system. So how do I get it in there? What foods are high in zinc? And mushrooms are high in zinc, spinach is high in zinc, broccoli, kale, garlic, nuts and soy are all high in zinc. And I just want to mention, uh, you, know, you know, I'm going to mention it down the road, kale, spinach, those are going to have a lot of different types of vitamins that are really going to help you out. And so um, just really think about those because as we read through the, as we go through this, this list of what's help, helpful for your immune system, you'll notice that kale and spinach are going to come up a lot. So you want to really incorporate those into your, your daily diet every day. I can eat these mushrooms by the bag full. And I can even I can taste the zinc. I can actually taste the zinc. All right. So this next one, uh, you all, it's not going to be a surprise. You're all going to know about because you always hear about, you know, if you get start to get sick, what do you do? You should drink orange juice, something that has vitamin C in it. So vitamin C, baby, that is probably one of the top vitamins to help boost your immune system. And you shouldn't just take it when you're sick. You should take it every day. So how do you get vitamin C in? There's broccoli, there's cantaloupe, there's cauliflower, kale again, which I mentioned earlier, uh, kiwi, oranges, papaya, uh, red, green, yellow, orange uh, peppers again, uh, sweet potatoes, strawberries, and tomatoes. All those are going to have vitamin C in them and all very, very, very good in boosting your immune system. So it's definitely something you want to make sure you're getting in every day and you're going to feel so much better and your immune system is going to be boosted. And so again, don't just don't wait 
uh, until you're starting to feel sick to do it. Make sure you're taking vitamin C, eating vitamin C, foods with high in vitamin C every day, and you're, you're going to be in great shape. All right, now the next one is a little interesting because uh, it's awfully hard to get vitamin D from food, but it's very important to get it to help boost your immune system. So how do you get it? The best way to get it is from the sun. And I know not all of us live in an area where we can get sun every day that easily. Um, so then there's other ways to get it, but um, typically it would be foods that are fortified with vitamin D. So like milk or almond milk, uh, co uh, coconut milk, um, those kinds of things are orange juice that you see sometimes in the store that say fortified with vitamin D. Uh, that's another way to get it. Um, and then the other way to get it is from a supplement like, you know, like a, a vitamin. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about vitamins uh, because of that. Um, you know, I do take a few vitamins every day, especially I take a multivitamin. Uh, um, just because I, I look at it as an insurance policy. So, so I try to get all my vitamins in from food every day, and I try to eat a lot of raw, healthy uh, food to get that in. You know? But the reality is, is it's difficult to get all your, your vitamins and minerals in um, just by eating food. So it's great to take a, a, multi, uh, a multivitamin pill every day that's going to give you a wide range of vitamins. I take one that's actually vegan and organic because um, I think what I want to do is I want to have it as clean as possible when I take it. But the reason why you want to do that is just like an insurance policy. Like you wouldn't drive your car without an insurance on it because if you crash it, you, you, know, you, you, you need to have that insurance policy. Just like you know, if you buy a house, the, if, especially if you have a mortgage on it, or even if you don't, if you own it outright, you're going to get insurance on the house because if something goes wrong with the house, you could be out a lot. So why do we take the multivitamin pills? Because it will really, really, really help you out in the long run um, in having it as an insurance policy. So if you don't get all the vitamins in that day from food, you'll get it in from the pill. So that's another way to get it from uh, vitamins, vitamin D in. Uh, but again, my favorite way is getting it from the sun. And I would say make sure you're only getting about 20 minutes in, you know, when you do that uh, a day is all you need to get your recommended daily allowance of vitamin D. Um, just be careful about not being out much longer than that. If you are, make sure you use uh, sunscreen because um, when I was younger, we didn't know all this. And so I did a lot of damage to my skin um, because of, because of uh, you know, I was out in the sun without sunscreen uh, or anything like all day long. And I burned all the time and I'm paying for that now. I'm trying to trying to get some of that back by eating healthy and, and all that. Um, but um, I did do some damage back then, but you don't have to do that. <laughs> so, so 20 minutes a day, if you're going to be out longer than 20 minutes, make sure you put on uh, sunscreen. Try to use a natural one. That way it's not full of chemicals. And it's also make sure you use like 15 and above uh, SPF and you're going to be uh, much better off. But make sure you get that 20 minutes in without all that junk on you and you'll feel better. You get your vitamin D in. Oh yeah, sun's out. All right, so this last one I can't say enough. I know I, I, I talk all the time about it. People are probably getting tired of me talking about drinking water. And I do have a video on how much water you should drink, and I'll put it up here. Um, and that way you could see there's a formula that I have that I think really, really works well. Um, a good way to start is to get 64 ounces in. That's eight, eight ounce glasses a day if you're not drinking that. At least that's the minimum. Um, but then I have a formula that you can go look at the video because it gets a little complicated. Um, but, it, but it is really, really, really important that we get the amount of water in um, that we need. And the formula is based on your weight because, you know, someone who's 300 pounds is going to have a different uh, water need than someone who's like 100 pounds. So um, it's more realistic to have the formula. But um, go go to that video and, and you'll you'll see what how much I'm talking about, but, but your cells are made up mostly of water and if they are dehydrated, your whole body, your whole immune system is going to suffer from it. So make sure you are getting in enough water. Water. And uh, anyway, that's all I had to say.
for it. I, those, if you follow those five things, those five tips, you would definitely boost your immune system. And I really, 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 really hope the very best for everyone out there during this pandemic and even after the pandemic's over, because you know, probably there are going to be other things down the road. You know, flu season will roll around, and who knows? They're talking about another round of coronavirus again. And um, so, you know, stay healthy, follow these tips, um, and just live a healthy life, and you will be much better off during this time. And again, I really just hope everyone stays safe out there, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, everybody. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button and also please subscribe and click on the notification button to get all this great content that's coming up every week. Thank you.